Hi everyone, so I hope you're all well today. Welcome back to Tilla Talks. I hope you guys enjoyed the previous video which was on a situation from one of my subscribers. Today's video is going to be on knowing your worth and about love as well. So this is from my point of view and I've also kind of studied things from the Bible and I've got a few quotations and I also have like things that I've written down. So I might be looking down at the iPad <laughs> And then I've got um, some two books here that I just wanted to recommend to anyone um, who is looking for books to read up on um, based on God or anything on the Bible. So the first one is a Joyce Meyer, um, Starting Your Day Right Devotions. And this is for each morning of the year. And literally I've had this for about two years and I've literally read it two years straight. So it literally starts from January the 1st all the way to the 31st of December. And it just has... Um, let's go to today what's today february 18 okay so today's one um i'll read it out then abounding grace so it says and god is able to make all grace abound you so that in all things at all times having all that you need you will abound in every good work two creations nine eight then it's got like a little quote um like it's got like a little kind of it just gives you a scenario, not a scenario, but just an overall speak on that meaning. So it says, my definition of get, to obtain um, by struggle and effort and receive is to act like a receptacle and simply take in what is offered. We can receive mercy, grace, strength, forgiveness and love from the Lord. It is a new day and God's mercy is new every morning. You can have a brand new start today. Allow God's mercy to strengthen and heal you before starting your routine activities. Receive his healing power and let its grace work in you. Today can be effortless as you depend on God's grace to do what he has called you to do. So that's today's one. I'll write it down in the description box below if anyone wants to read it. But you can get this on Amazon. And um, One of my mum's friends actually gave it to her and then she gave it to me um, because I was kind of looking for a book like that. Um, this is another book which is King James's version psalms and proverbs so i think there's um different books like this but it has like um two chapters from the bible in each book so it literally has it from start to finish so that's what it looks like this is also on amazon i think this is from america but you can obviously also order that on amazon as well so i'm really nervous to do um this video um i was actually meant to do it yesterday but i just felt that yesterday afternoon but I felt like I'd put time on it and I feel like when you know God is ready for me to make this video then I will now make it and today is the day. Over the past three days or so I have literally um well kind of over a while I'm going to show you I have written some bullet points and you know um things from the bible I don't know if it can show it properly but I'm just going to scroll so I've written so so much um and i'm just basically gonna go through it so i hope you guys enjoy this and continue watching so the title of this is knowing your worth and also love so as a woman i'm going to be speaking from my kind of my point of view it's not your point of view it's not you know it's not anything that i've been forced to say i feel like god has just spoken to me to speak to you guys on till it talks I've been wanting to do this for a while so we're gonna do it so knowing your worth is understanding that God loves you firstly let's put it that way that is what knowing your worth is knowing your worth is not knowing that someone loves you like you know your mom or your dad or your friends or your boyfriend or your girlfriend it's knowing that God loves you and for someone to love you they need to be able to see God's love within you in your heart so you cannot just say, you know, and that person loves me without them seeing that godly love within your heart, if that makes sense. So the next thing um, is one of the most seen and popular scriptures from the Bible that many of us have said over and over again, but don't realise the meaning is the one from Proverbs. So it's Proverbs 3.15. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare to her. So what I wrote under this is, as a title, is settling for less than you deserve. So this is basically based on relationships. But as a woman, you need to understand and feel that that godly feeling inside of you um, and understand that you are a treasure from the Lord. And 
for whoever God brings that may seek love for you cannot have eyes for anything better than what he has placed for you so what I mean by that is that like I said in the beginning whoever claims to love you needs to claim to love the Lord before loving you they need to love the Lord and Jesus more than they love you and this is meaning relationship wise like I said so if you have a boyfriend and he's telling you that he loves you so much ask him who do you love the most and he should tell you that he loves the Lord more than he loves you. It's nothing to be jealous of. Because the Lord gives us unconditional love that no one else can give us. The Lord forgives us when we commit sins. The Lord forgives us when we step on an ant. He forget, forgives us when we may cheat. He forgives us when we may eat the wrong thing. When we, may, when we fail an exam. When someone may kill someone. He forgives us as long as we repent. And we know that we have sinned. We live in a sinful world. Do you understand? So it's a thing that he always forgives us. So you, uh, your boyfriend telling you that he loves you more than anything in the world, ask him that one question. Who do you love more than me? If he says no one, I really want to say then he doesn't love you. And this is my opinion. Let me be very real with you. I personally feel like he doesn't love you. He needs to love the Lord more than he loves you. More than he loves anyone on this earth. God's love is more special and more amazing than anyone else's love so i'm going to be scrolling up and down and through everything before regaining regaining my relationship and journey with god my thought on knowing um knowing your worth was based on appearance i'm not saying that you know i didn't like to wear makeup or i didn't like to you know dress fashionably or anything like that but appearance does not define your worth let's put it that way and a lot of people feel like it does. It doesn't at all. Appearance, makeup, you know, how you look does not allow you to feel like I know my worth. Just because you, you know, you have this luxurious kind of, um, kind of objects. It doesn't mean that, you know, you have the earrings, you have the makeup, you have the hair. It doesn't mean, yes, I know my worth, I know I'm fabulous. That doesn't allow you to know how amazing you are, how beautiful you are inside. Inside is what you feel what god has put in you that godly love inside of your heart which allows other people to then after see how beautiful you are outside from the love that god has put inside you jeremiah jeremiah 29 11 for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans for welfare and not evil not for evil to give you future and a hope God knows our today, he knows our tomorrow, he knew our yesterday. His plans for us is not even close to perfect, it is perfect. The plans that he has for us is amazing. It's on top of any plans that we may even be thinking of, plans that we may even be dreaming of right now. You may be dreaming that this is when I want to graduate, this is when I want to marry, and we all do that, I do that. But the plans that he has for us, you don't even know it yet. You may be thinking that, you know, something has not gone right, but later on, you'll see that the plan that God has for you is even, is a thousand times better than the plan that you had for yourself. We live on earth, a place where people judge, stare, they snigger, and it's full of negativity. The negativity part is the devil's work. And he's waiting for us all to fall into a hole of not loving ourselves, not knowing our worth. God puts people in our life for a certain reason for us to grow for us to um see him a lot more for us to love him a lot more but when he puts these people in your life take it as a positive aspect don't take it as a negative aspect once you take it as a negative aspect that's when it's now become the devil's work the devil's work then he feels like he can laugh he can then play around and make that situation that god was making positive negative but that's when you then have to think to yourself where am i going to take it positive or negative you then take it to god's side and then say no i'm going to go with god and make it positive not everything is going to be perfect not every relationship not every friendship is going to be perfect but you need to pray on it and think is this what god wants is this god what is, is this what god has intended for me to have is this what he has put in my life is this person that is meant to be here you just continue to pray and pray and god will answer those questions for you so what is the reason why you may not feel worthy what made you feel 
that you're not worthy anymore? Were you putting someone um, in your life above God? Our, the God that we serve is a jealous God and people don't understand this. So I'm going to go to the bit where I've spoken about God is a jealous God. So you may feel that you're not good enough for someone. Making someone else your priority. Like I said, the God that we serve, he is a very, very, very jealous God. As it says in Exodus 24, 5, you shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything in heaven above or on earth beneath or in the waters below. You shall not basically bow down to anyone or worship anyone for I am your Lord. You shouldn't worship or idol or idolize anyone on this earth that we live on. Don't idolize me. This is something that I watched from TD Jakes. He said, if you are in the church and you're here and you're idolizing me and you're worshiping me, you should not be here because you should be worshiping God. I am speaking for God. God is in me and I'm speaking his word. You should not be worshiping me. You should not be idolizing me. And that's something that TG Jakes had said in his um, online service that I was watching a couple months ago. So it is a sin to have a desire to envy or to je be jealous of someone, but God's terminolo terminology is that it is a sign to serve or worship anyone but him. When God has declared something for you, then it is okay to be jealous, such as being a, being a wife, wife, wife. If you're someone's wife and you're married or your husband, if God has put that person into your life, you can be jealous. That is fine because God has put that person in your life. Do you understand? So if someone else is flirting with your husband, it is okay to be jealous. It's okay to be jealous. Jealousy is a sin for something that is not yet blessed to you by the Lord. If God has not blessed you with that, then you have no reason to be jealous. Even being someone's partner or someone's boyfriend or girlfriend, he has blessed you to see each other's love for one another. But until you are married in the eyes of the Lord, you have no right as of yet to be 100% jealous. You can have feelings of that he has blessed you to be with that's fine so people think love is within the flesh love is a spirit 1 john 4 8 if you don't have love you don't know god because god is a spirit and god is love god is love you need to love him before you love anybody else you cannot say that you love someone and god is not your first love